and join us aboard the TCM Classic Cruise December 8th through the 13th. Hey there everybody, welcome to Turner Classic Movies, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. With Halloween just five days away, it's perfectly fitting for us to bring you a film from a guy named Hal. Except his name isn't Hal, it's Val. And this movie wouldn't make a bit of sense to program around Valentine's Day. Up next, a film not from American producer Val Luton, it's from British director Val Guest. From Hammer Film Productions in 1960, it's Stop Me Before I Kill. Probably not a household name in the States, Val Guest was a top director in England during the 40s, 50s, and 60s, making everything from comedy, drama, sci-fi, and horror. But Guest left his mark, his lasting mark, at Hammer. First hired by the studio to direct comedies, Guest moved to the sci-fi horror realm with the now cult classic The Quatermass Experiment in 1955. After that success, he continued churning out low-budget, audience-pleasing movies for Hammer, including this next film. Based on a novel by Ronald Scott Thorne called The Full Treatment, the film version stars Ronald Lewis as a Grand Prix driver who marries a beautiful woman, but then he suffers a serious car accident and in the aftermath is plagued by a desire to do something very specific, causing him to question his own sanity. Diane Cilento plays his wife and Claude Dauphine plays a psychiatrist who tries to help Lewis. As most good thrillers go, things aren't always what they seem. This movie was originally released in England in 1960 as the full treatment, but the company distributing it stateside, Columbia Pictures, wanted something catchier for the marquee. So when released in the U.S. in 1961, audiences bought tickets for Stop Me Before I Kill. Catchier, I suppose, also super cheesy. Filmed in the south of France with cinematography by Gilbert Taylor, who also shot Roman Polanski's Repulsion and George Lucas's Star Wars. Here's Stop Me Before I Kill. <laughs> 